All right, we're back. Ran can cook. We were filming again. We had some Wi-Fi issues today, so we're just going to film this in one take. Uh, I would like to say Claude's back, but he's not. Tyler's still on the ladder, but he really enjoyed being that height. So I think he's a little jealous of Claude. Maybe that's maybe what the problem is. But hey, if you're seven foot eight, I mean, it is what it is, right? <laughs> so he likes the better view. Makes him look like he's looking down on me. Is what he tells me. So today we're going to make meatloaf. We've made meatloaf before. Nothing new out of the ordinary. But today we're going to use the muffin pan. Now. The reason why we're using the muffin pan is I went to a restaurant in Marietta, Georgia, and I'll post up, I can't remember the name of it offhand, and had them at this, and it was phenomenal. It's almost like little meatballs. We're going to call meatball muffins today, uh, but not meatball, excuse me, meatloaf muffins, not meatball muffins. Meatloaf muffins, and so we're going to make it. So today what we're doing in our mixture is we've got two pounds of deer meat. Kill, did you kill it or somebody else kill it? My like daddy. Car. Daddy. Okay, kill it. <laughs> daddy killed it. Okay, so I, I thought it was going to be roadkill deer, but <laughs> it's not. But today we're having two pounds of deer, and then I have... Uh, me and my mother and my brother actually went in and bought a whole cow. The only thing I didn't like about buying a whole cow was the people actually sent me a picture of the cow before he was processed, so they kind of hurt a little bit after he was processed. But anyway, we're going to get over it. So we got him a pound of him in here. Cecil is what I call him. We got a pound of Cecil and two pounds of deer. So what we've already done, it's about three pounds. Like I said, you know, at the firehouse, we like to do eight ounces per meal. Uh, if you're cooking for us, that's about what we prefer. Um, and so I've got three eggs in there, kind of already kind of busted them up a little bit, and then I've already got the meat inside the there, inside that. Now, I went ahead and cooked my onions. Some people like to do bell peppers. I like just onions. Uh, bell peppers can, and bell peppers right now are like $4 a piece. Not worth it. Um, and so we're going to do an onion today. Already sauteed it. Uh, you know, sometimes people put them in there early. Uh, we'll do it at the original when they're raw, but sometimes it ends up being a little crunchy. So I'm not a crunchy onion guy, so we're going to go ahead and saute it. So I'm going to dump that in there, and we're going to get it all mixed up. Now today, since we're doing one take, we're actually going to uh, take this one, stop, and then we're going to pick back up uh, when I get it out of the oven. So the magic oven, I guess, will be working today. And then, of course, I like meatloaf seasoning. This gives us a little bit of the stuff. Uh, you can you can obviously uh, do it yourself and uh, kind of uh, piece it together, but it's just cheaper to buy the pack. I'm only going to put one in there now because I've got to start mixing it. That's why I have the gloves on today. And then I like Italian breadcrumbs. I feel like that's your, some people use bread, some people use some other different things. I prefer Italian breadcrumbs, but you can use any kind of breadcrumbs you want. I'm gonna sprinkle in there. That just kind of helps hold it together, especially the leanness of the meat um, and keeps it. So this is the only nasty part. The good thing about this too, let me go ahead and tell you, if you're a rookie firefighter and you're learning how to cook and you're doing meatloaf, wear the gloves. The reason why is if you catch a run, I don't know if you've ever been padding out burgers before and catch a run, Getting meat out of, the gro out of the grooves of your hand while you're having to get on the truck real fast, it's kind of tough to do. This is a lot easier, and it practices proper BSI, so it works out perfect. So anyway, we're going to mix it all together, try to get a little bit of evenness. Um, now what I did do is put my breadcrumbs in a bowl. Uh, that way I don't have to contaminate my, uh, my little canister that it comes in. So I poured me, I know, I think I poured, I'm pretty sure I poured enough. We're just going to kind of mix it up and kind of circle it over. Nothing overly exciting, feels really terrible on your hands. Um, but it is what it is. So we're getting the onions around, mixing them up. Now, once I get about a good couple good flip flops like that, I'll put some more seasoning in it. Okay. And like I said, we have three eggs in there as well, about three pounds of meat, an egg per pound. And then I've got some more breadcrumbs. We'll add a little bit more of this, sprinkle it around. Now, I've always I've been using uh, the meatloaf style in a Pyrex forever. And so I went to a restaurant in Marietta, and uh, we would eat at a restaurant, a little diner, and I can't think of the name of it right now. And anyway, they actually served it this way, and it was phenomenal. Uh, the guy said the reason why they do it that way is because um, it doesn't dry out. So when you cut them, it doesn't dry out at a restaurant. So that's perfect for us, because I like to cook everything at one time if I can, so I don't have to do it again. And on the mixture today, uh, we're having mashed potatoes. Uh, probably gonna have some macaroni and cheese, since I have some cheese and some noodles, and Tyler likes both of those. And we're gonna have that and some green beans, and then we're gonna try to stay awake. That's our goal today. So, Tyler, you, how's my school going? Oops, that's good. Going pretty good, doing pretty good. Oh, that's good. Uh, it's about the time Claude started getting really stressed out. It was right about right now. Had to do all the rotations and all that other good stuff. So, I've got a pretty good success rate. I'm, I'm a one and one, I mean, one and two out here for medics. We're not going to talk about the one that didn't make it. But uh, I am pretty good, so hopefully I'll be at two and, two and three before this is over with for Tyler. Oh, it's all my extra uh, getting on them and telling them the studies. So anyway, you like it like you can tell how you like it is because it starts holding together really well. Uh, it stays kind of separated if you don't have enough breadcrumbs, and once you get just the right amount, it will hold it together better, and you can actually feel like one big. So normally we'd be making a loaf out of this, but we're just gonna kind of flip it a few more times for time's sake. 
pushing all that through to get the kind of nice and togetherness. If you don't like meatloaf, I understand it's okay. That's because you just ain't had the right kind. So we're gonna lay that up there. And now what I've done is I've taken this muffin pan and I've sprayed it really good with some olive oil spray. And so we're just gonna kind of take that. I have never done this before. So we're gonna go with it and see how it goes. I'm just gonna estimate how much I want. And uh, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more. I am gonna put this on another pan just in case. Take a little bit off that side. And smash her down in there. Okay, oh, it's coming in from the culture heat. That's what I'm talking about. So we're kind of doing this way. Hoping everybody's been having a good year. I know that uh, school's been out the last couple days. Kind of let all the teachers get caught up on. Some of them have been pretty sick. And uh, kind of go from there. Oh, I guess I need to kind of fashion them up a little bit. The one I had was kind of lumpy looking. So, uh, and we're just gonna make them like little patties like this. The hardest part I think will be probably trying to determine if you got much, too much, or not enough. But that's okay for making one. I can make it small. So we're gonna bake it like normal, and then when we get it out, I'm, we're gonna start filming again. And I'm either gonna put the sauce on top of it and then put it back in there, or we're gonna flip it. We've been trying to vote on that because I, I don't know which way they did it. I just thought it's be cool to try. Make another one like that. Kind of going from there. So today was pretty good. We went to Publix. Everything. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. There are some grocery stores, and we were talking about this on the walk out. There are some grocery stores you're just like almost exhausted when you got out of there because it's almost painful. I know a lot of them uh, have uh, have been uh, ramsacked, but it just I guess it just can't find nobody to work for. They can figure it out, but they're pretty rough. So we're thankful for Publix. We appreciate you. Uh, it is a lot less stressful to shop there. So we're gonna do this. Take a few more, a couple more things. Um, the good thing about this is this one's split up pretty well, so we can eat with three of us here today. We can have probably two a piece, which I doubt we can eat two a piece per meal, but we'll have it there for us if we need it. Then we'll kind of go from there. I'm kind of a deer beef fan myself. We did what did we make? That taco soup we made the other day it was deer turkey and turkey, turkey and beef. Deer, so it was pretty good. So I, I do like some deer meat. So if you got any deer meat you want to donate to. Me at here at Grand Canyon Cook Fire Station 3, I will not turn it down. Or the house, I'm good either I did my father in law get some more deers. Oh, North Carolina deer, it's gotta be better. It's North Carolina. <laughs> so we're getting pretty close. Kind of where I try to start piecing it together. And we're like I said, we're gonna put it on a pan to make sure that it doesn't uh, boil over, or grease over, or whatever you want to call it. And so here we go, last three. They're going to be a little bit smaller just because I didn't uh, time those good. I ain't destroying none of them. I'm kind of going from there. So, there they are. Tyler will follow me over here. I'm going to lay them on this pan. Like I said, we're going to do this. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to have it on 400 degrees. We're going to cook it. Now, this is a convection oven, so it has been cooking pretty fast. Um, and so we're going to probably cook it about 30 minutes and I'm going to keep an eye on it and probably in 15 minute inter plus in intervals after that. Normally it takes me like an hour, give or take. So also too, I didn't mention this, I'm going to mention it before it's over with. I got my new apron today for today. One of my fans sent this to me for Christmas. So uh, Eric out there, I'm Chief O'Neill uh, at school, that's what we call him at school. Uh, thank you. And uh, I'll be wearing different aprons. If, if you send me one, I'll wear it. Um, but it is a Captain America, it's very festive. I'm definitely wearing it around Halloween. So take these gloves off. Now contaminate myself, which I didn't do too bad there. And we're gonna set these in the oven. So we're gonna set the timer. We've had this in preheat, and we were gonna come back to you. Hopefully this is gonna be a good idea. If it's not, uh, we're still gonna try to eat it anyway. So I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes, and we're gonna kinda go from there. So when you come back to us here in a few minutes, I'll clip the two together. Just, we're still doing one take in case I mess up, that's okay. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So hopefully you, uh, you guys will tune back in with us here shortly and uh, see what we got going on here on the meat loaf muffins. Thank you. All right, we're back from Rand Can Cook. It's been about 45, 50 minutes. Um, the meat loaf muffins are looking fantastic. Uh, if you look at our what we're having on the menu today, homemade mac and cheese, smash reds, and then some old good style Margaret Holmes uh, green beans. And then to go with this. So, about five to seven minutes ago, I cooked this at 400 for about 45 minutes. And this is convection of it. it. May take you an hour, give or take. Just kind of keep an eye on it. 
Um, I pulled them out. I did a half and half barbecue sauce slash ketchup mixture, put on top to kind of coat it. And I thought you guys could be here for the unveiling of all this goodness. So we are hopefully going to enjoy this. I did check it. They do not stick as long as you spray those pan, that pan real well. Uh, it did not do it. Um, we actually didn't have a lot of um, fat content on it. Uh, because we were using deer and some pretty lean ground beef, homemade ground beef, uh, Cecil will be in the back, rest of the soul. But anyway, uh, one thing that we, I probably would recommend if you did this again, if I cook with like an 80 20 or something like that, um, you may want to tilt it a little bit when you cook it, put like another pan under it at an angle just to have it run off a little bit better. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of runoff, so we left it. So this is going to be how it looks. I will actually get a plate just to show you for a bowl, and I'm going to choose this one over here. It actually lifts out pretty easy. And there you have it, my friend. The circle of goodness, as I like to call it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this recipe. Once again, I kind of go over real quick. Had three pounds of meat, so we had two pounds of deer we did today, and one pound of Cecil. And then we had um, a couple packs of meatloaf seasoning. We did onions, we had pan cooked them, one whole sweet onion. I pan cooked it, mixed it, and then we used Italian breadcrumbs. Mix that all together with our hands. Uh, I did, and used gloves, I prefer. And then I said, we separated them out. And then about 45 minutes, set my timer at 30, kind of looked at them, give them another 15, and then at my timer, I uh, placed that little bit of half and half barbecue, half ketchup on top, and uh, they're ready to go. So we're ready to eat. Hopefully, you have, hopefully we'll have a good lunch today. Hopefully a future supper. Uh, let us know if there's anything we can do for you or anything you want us to cook. So this is Ray Can't Cook. We'll talk to you guys later.